what it is everyone. Welcome to the Death Cage and welcome to Crack Guitars. I need to make a little announcement. There's gonna be a little bit of a content shortage on my channel for the next couple of weeks. And the reason being is that I've been working on another project and I haven't really been spending a whole lot of time on the upcoming videos. But I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. Here it is. That's right. The x is almost done. If you've been following this build on my uh, Facebook page, Crack Guitars, you'll know that this project is three years in the making. From a chunk of wood to this, the last couple days, every single night this is what i've been working on i want to start playing it it's not done yet it needs a little bit of fret work the nut needs filed down a little bit it needs some string trees it needs some knobs i need to put some foil shielding on the back of the control cavities i'll probably do one more polish on it but it's got a ton of features i promise to do a full-length demo and full-length explanation of what everything is on this guitar. I want to put together a video where I chronicle building this guitar from a chunk of plywood, which this is made out of plywood, hence the name Explier. I want to find a way to show you the glow-in-the-dark paint. It's got these beautiful flowers that my wife painted on here, and the petals of the flowers actually glow in the dark. I just need to figure out a way to show it on camera. It has a built-in preamp, coil splits. I know it looks like it's an HHH, but it's actually an HSH because this middle pickup never gets wired in series. There's gonna be multiple videos about just this guitar. I just gotta get it done first. So that's what I've been grinding on the last couple nights. Really wanna just start using it in my videos. I want a crack guitar besides my double neck. My double neck is a crack guitar technically because it was built from scratch, but for some reason I put Fender logos on the headstock. I don't know, I wasn't thinking. But this is the first crack guitar that says crack guitars. While we're here, I thought I would bring up something else that I discovered. I work on a lot of guitars. I have a local guitar repair business and a lot of times it's simple stuff like uh, the nut needs filed down, the frets need worked on, the neck needs shimmed, something like that where you're taking the strings on and off multiple times and that's hard on strings and they break. I go through a lot of strings. To be economical, I buy cheap strings from China. I get these little cheapo strings, 99 cents a pack. I get them by the dozen. They're only intended just for setting up the guitar. And then I buy a proper set of strings, some elixirs or Ernie's or whatever the customer wants. I was working on this guitar tonight, trying to get it set up, and I noticed something a bit odd. So I'm gonna plug the guitar in. You tell me if you can figure out what's going on here. Something missing in there? Alright, if you haven't figured it out yet, what's going on is the B string is not actually made out of metal. I got these strings from China, 99 cents a pack. You'd think they would at least be made out of metal, but... But no, this B string is actually made out of aluminum. The way electric guitar works is you have steel strings that vibrate inside of a magnetic field and they drag the magnetic field around and that creates the signal that then goes to your amp. If you don't have steel strings, the magnetic field doesn't move, you don't get any sound coming out of your amp. So that's how I figured out that this string here is made out of aluminum. Anyway, that's my Crack Guitars vlog for tonight. That's what's going on on the channel. If there's a couple weeks where there's no video uploaded, it's because of this thing right here. And you know what? I'm fine with that. So y'all will be seeing this guitar more in the future. 
As always, have a good one. And solidarity.